So we're here away from our general location and we decided to record this short video for you. Um, it's about how to take our waves. We don't want it to pass and the comments where people didn't really see much of what was done. So we decided to do a second one. The main in instrument to use is this. It's called a Sim Reaper. And what a Sim Reaper does is it just concentrates on the thread. So you pick the thread with the sharp point and you hook it through. This is like a blade down here. Now, this is so important because when you're taking out waves, it's one of the areas that people get their hair damaged a lot, waves in particular. And that's because um, we use thread to stitch the extension and the hair. And so the thread sometimes gets confused with the hair because of the color sometimes. So it's important you know what you're picking out. And so the seam ripper comes and picks out just the thread. So in this particular case, this hair is brown, so you may see the black. But going forward, you're going to see where we have black thread and black hair. Okay, so you notice there's a net in here. Yes, we use the net on the weave. And net helps definitely to keep the hair protected. It's especially very useful for people with natural hair because most times if the natural hair is really long, it creates a really bumpy base. But when you put the net on, it helps to hold it down and gives you a flatter base to work with. So that's what the net was there for. And so you can see how the hair is coming out really nicely. And you see the threads are there. It just shows that we haven't poked into the client's hair at all. And that's what we're trying for you to pick up and learn so you're not that person who's damaging or destroying your client's hair. Most of the times when people who have hair damage from weave is it taken out. Is it taken out because people do not understand how to remove that thread without causing any damage. And remember it's cost by the material, the equipment to use. Most people use scissors. And some people use blade. They are both on our boat. Seam Ripper is your best friend in with you. So you open your weft, open the tracks, you know where they are. Okay, so you section out your tracks. Make sure you clip them completely away. Clip, clip, clip. Helps to make sure you see what you're doing. And then that's you pull the kind of like drag the track down a bit like that. You can see the thread very clearly. Very, very clearly. And it stretches out. See that? So you can actually pick more than one if you want. But when you're not sure, just stay with what you can do. See that? Thread is right in my face and all I do is just nip in it. Once you finish the part you sectioned out, you create another section. Please don't be the person that causes damage on your client's hair. It's very important. Whatever these hairstyles most times are not a problem. It's how to take it out that becomes a problem. I hear people say weave is causing so much damage. 
It's not we, it's how you take it out. So I finish that line and I'll create another. Okay, so this is black hair and black thread. Remember I said, when we get here, I'll show you what it is like. So you can see that it's so invisible. You have to really know what you're picking out before you can do it. So you stretch it out a bit and you see the thread. Thread, thread, thread. What, what it is, is sometimes um, when you're doing you're stitching your wig, you, you kind of color match your thread. So I could have also color matched in brown, but I didn't really want to do that because um, I knew that the black was going to cover the brown. So if you color match the thread of brown, brown thread and brown hair, you also be struggling with, with trying to make out where the thread is. So that's what this is. So be sure you see the thread before you pick. And that's it. I hope you've really seen it this time because we were told last time that nobody really saw what we're doing. So I decided to show you this. Okay, so we nearly finished. You can see the bits of hair left, and that's where we finally make sure you're picking just the thread. That's it. And so, like I said earlier, you can see the net still intact. This is how it comes. But all the all the natural hair is underneath it, and we just stop that in like that. So you can see the seam ripper then go into it to rip. So you see how protected the hair became. And so once you have the right tool, you do a good job. So look out for that. We do have them in stock, but not all the time. So if you order, I'll make sure you'll get you a good, good version. It's not always this color. They come in different designs, but this is one of the best I've worked with. And so that's you finish your taking out your weave, and you do the next thing that you need to do. Get the hair taken out properly, condition the hair, and come up with a new design for the client. So I hope that has helped you and um, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Continue to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and everything and we're always here trying to support your business and helping you grow in whatever form we can. As usual, email us if you have any problems and we're here to help. Thank you and God bless.